So I'm here for one reason, and I'm here for one reason and one reason only, and that's my ability to drive targeted traffic that converts into leads and into sales. What's going on guys, Vince Reed here and I am back with another episode. I hope you are ready because we are going to have a lot of fun. I have a lot in store over the next few weeks. I'm gonna be traveling, speaking at events. We're gonna be meeting some of the best entrepreneurs and business owners in the world. I'm gonna have a lot of fun. But while I'm here waiting, I figured I'd just show you guys something cool. One of the cool things about being an entrepreneur is you always get really cool gifts, especially if you do good for your clients, all right? So here's one of my, my buddies slash clients. I, I taught him some marketing strategies. He's taught me a thing or two as well. But he just started this awesome clothing line and uh, it's called B10XB, way before the 10X that you probably are thinking of. I mean, I remember him rocking a B10XB, like literally like maybe like seven, eight, nine years ago. I'm at an event when I first saw him speak, but he sent me some of the stuff. And what was crazy is when I would see him at events, like years ago at one of my first events that I went to, he gave me a B10XB uh, wristband. And every time I would see him at the same event each and every year, he would bring me a new one because I would literally wear it all the time. So now, um, after going through a bunch of stuff to like basically get the rights to the B10XB uh, brand, he basically was able to now actually turn it into a legitimate company. And by the way, B10XB means a B, what would you do if you were 10 times bolder? All right, so you know, if you were 10 times bolder, where would you, where would you be? So let's go ahead and take a look at what he sent me. So we'll see what's in here. Let's see what, what we got in here. See what my man, Mr. Caesar, is sending me. Oh, cool, I got some wristbands here. That's gonna be cool. I'm definitely gonna wear one of those. Okay, okay, I see you, I see you, my man. Make sure I don't break them. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got in the goodie bag. We got some T-shirts. Got some B10XB T-shirts here. I'm assuming you can go to his website, B10XB. I'm gonna be wearing this all weekend. Appreciate you, my friend. And also while I got you, let me show you something else. And since we're in talking about the gift that keeps on giving. So I'm in my office and I actually shared a story um, on social media about this. So one of my favorite boxers is Muhammad Ali. And I did this podcast, the Limitless podcast recently. Let me show you guys this. And they sent me this, this really cool picture. Um, they sent me this picture of Muhammad Ali and they didn't even know that I was a big Muhammad Ali fan. So. When you do good to others, they will do good to you. You get a lot of gifts. And these are actually, actually I, took, I take all the gifts that people give me and I put them in here. Here are some custom Air Force Ones. This was sent to me by Mike Arce from the Loud Rumor Crew. Um, they basically are the largest digital agency for fitness studios. So he sent me this for helping them and their business um, get customers. And my man Keith Yaki sent me this Laker custom jersey with Reed on the back, the Kobe jersey. And it's in here. So every time I'm playing pool and, and hanging out, I get to see all the gifts. So hey guys, this is just you know me saying if you have gifts and you want to send them to me, you know, and it's cool, this is where they'll go. All right. So with that being said, guys, we're gonna head out. We're gonna have a great time. I'm gonna take you along from the ride. We're gonna go behind the scenes and we're gonna have fun. So stay tuned. Yeah, plenty of room back there, right? Yeah. Good. All right. Let's do it. TNC 2019. Let's make it happen. One, 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 or one shot. Now the future for sure. Let's go. Yeah, I was building on the lecture. Versus coming daily under pressure. Working on the plot and the scheme. The true stock trademark is at the edge of your dreams. I'm talking one, one shot for the kill. The breeze come freeze up. Straight drop in the chills. I'm talking. Taking over pieces and shares of all big sky high, check the movement is here. Yeah, yeah. It's one heart, one shot. Now the future is yours. Go. I'm turning dreams into reality. In the lab with the formula and chemistry. Your memories spark and motivate and make the industry shake. You put the balls in the All right guys, day one of Traffic and Conversion Summit, and uh, I'm excited, I got my bounce on, I'm ready to come out swinging. <laughs> we're gonna uh, head to grab some breakfast right now, then we're gonna head over to the event. And also, let me show you guys, you guys have seen these before, I'm like literally addicted to it. 
and I don't know what company this is, but they put this in the little bag that you get when you like become, I guess when you get your badge, and I can't put it down. So shout out to whoever gave this as a cool tool. I'm addicted to it. I'll keep you guys along for the ride. Let's have some fun. In the Uber on the way to go grab some breakfast. And my man here has the ultimate stack when it comes to Uber. He's added so much value to this Uber ride. We got cords to charge your phone. He has it smelling like oranges. And uh, he's even selling popcorn, popcorn on Sunday outside the stadium. The man does it all. Make sure you stack your game. At the end of the month, they go, well, our ads weren't profitable. Well, it wasn't that your ads weren't profitable, it's the fact that you spent two grand over here trying to be Mr. Famous, and you spent two grand over here on the things that would have made you money. You made money over here, but that made the two grand that you were spending trying to be Mr. Famous made you lose money. Yeah. What if you just were focused on the thing that solved the problem? Now you'd be famous to the people whose problems you want to solve, and you'd grow inside out and actually be famous. That was pretty fun. Can't wait to see how my Norwegian fan base turns out. Should be interesting, it should be fun. Appreciate you guys, but hey, it doesn't stop. We got another one. We're gonna head over to another podcast real quick. Perfect, just perfect timing. How are you? Good, how are you doing? Good, good, good. good. Number one most powerful pixel is the page view pixel. Target your website viewers. And number two would be to upload your list of customers or leads and follow them around as well. And, and to that. I, know, I know people have said that before, yeah. but it's always an afterthought because people go, oh, I don't want to do that. But I'm telling you, if you've got li a list of leads or contacts and you just simply upload those into social media and tar retarget them, I, I, all, it, it's going to be your, most, your best and most profitable list right now that you can start making money immediately and that will get you over the hump when you're advertising to have that belief that it actually works. Alright guys, it's that time. It's time to hit the stage. Well, not quite that time. We're on our way over to the venue. Really excited. I got my breakfast of champions, the protein bars, and a fig bar. I gotta love the fig bars. Not what I normally eat, but I'm on the run. Normally can't eat a lot before I speak. We're gonna have some fun, guys. This is all because of marketing. Lead generation and traffic led me to this stage. Anything is possible. Let's have some fun. I'll see you there. How's everything going? Yeah. Feeling like I'm about to run out the tunnel in a football game. My bounce on. <laughs> All right guys, it's game time. It's almost that time to hit the stage, but I got a question for you. Have you ever heard the story about the California gold rush and how the filthy rich actually made their money? Well, I'm gonna share it with you. Let's go. How you guys doing? Thank you, thank you. Can they hear me? Can you guys hear me okay? Are we good? Can we hear me? Awesome. Well, I got a quick story, a couple stories. How many of you guys have ever heard the story of the California Gold Rush? Raise your hand if you ever heard the story of the California Gold Rush. I think it was 1837, people migrated out west to mine for gold. And the, as the story goes, individuals who made all the money were the individuals selling the what? The shovels, the picks, and the shovels, right? But I want to give you guys a little bit different perspective and a little bit deeper level of insight on actually what happened. Because right now, people think that you can just go out there and sell your tool or your pick and actually make a lot of money. That isn't always the case. You see, the individuals that made all the money were actually the guys that would take those picks and those shovels and they would go up into the hills and they would use those tools and actually get gold. And then they were able to show individuals who wanted the gold how to actually use the tools to get results. Does that make sense? So I'm here for one reason, and I'm here for one reason and one reason only, and that's my ability to drive targeted traffic that converts into leads and into sales, all right? So I've been able to use that skill set to go up into the hills and get the gold myself, 
And I've been able to use that skill set to sell my tool, my pick, and my shovel to others. Now, once you guys know me, what a lot of marketers do is they just live in the cold zone. They're constantly running ads to cold traffic. And when you do that, you have a lot of ups and downs. Right? And that's why you see change underneath zone one. You can make money if you've got the budget to do it, but you've got to be thinking consciously, how do I get to zone two? And when you get to zone two, the warm zone, now the individuals know you, the goal is to simply get those individuals to like you. And these are the individuals that are making, let's say, the six or seven figure type income because they're living more in the warm zone. They have a following, they go live, hundreds of people show up. But where you really make money is when you can operate in the hot zone. And the reason the hot zone works so well is because you don't have to really do any heavy lifting. And I want you to think about companies that operate in the hot zone, companies like Amazon, right? You buy a product, okay, every time you look up, okay, the next product that they know that you like is right in front of you. They're operating in the hot zone. Guys, you guys have your game plan for 2019. You ready to dominate? Ready to dominate. Appreciate it. You can use them all. You never, you never can. The whole... Did it, man. We just rocked the stage. We had a good time and a lot of fun. And uh, you know, it's it's weird. It's a weird feeling because I've come to this event so many times as a person just attending, and to be a speaker was an honor. So, hope you guys got a lot of value from it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Later. <laughs>